Hello everybody and welcome back to the Celtic FC 25 career mode. Last time out we had the most incredible game we have ever experienced on the channel and that is really saying something when you think about some of the games that have taken place in this career mode alone, never mind some of the past series that we've done, we did beat RB Leipzig in the last 16 of the Champions League, but it was nowhere near as straightforward as we had hoped. Adamina with a late winner to send us through on aggregate. It wasn't pretty, but who cares? We got there. Unfortunately, though, we do have some bad news. Inacio has suffered a torn calf muscle and will be out for up to two months. So he will not be a part of the Champions League quarterfinal, which is such a shame. He's one of our best players. 87 rated, slotted in so nicely alongside Phil Brooks. They've created a great partnership, but he will not be available for either leg of the quarterfinal. And speaking of the quarterfinals, well, lads, it's a familiar opponent and also... It's a good time to get some revenge. Atletico Madrid. The team who beat us in the Champions League final last season are the team we will be playing in the quarterfinals this season. Not only did they beat us, but they did it in their own backyard at the Metropolitano. And now we look to beat them to advance through to the final four and get some redemption for them stopping us from winning our second ever European Cup. Real Madrid playing PSG there, as you can see above us. Two all English ties as well. Liverpool and Tottenham, a rematch of the 2019 final and Man City and Arsenal also playing an all-English tie there. So very interesting to see how many English and Scottish teams will be in the semi-finals itself. But here we go. Paradise awaits us once again. The Champions League quarter-final, a rematch of last season's final. Atletico Madrid not only beat us in the final... But as I said earlier, they did it in their own backyard. There's Conor Gallagher leading out the Spanish and European champions. As we go through the brick wall, it's tradition. And who knows, lads, this could be the final time we see that. As I said, this is the last season. At most, we only have one more game here at Celtic Park in the Champions League if we are to advance. Unless they put the Champions League final at Celtic Park, which uh, I've never seen in career mode. But listen, I wouldn't complain. We'd love to have that home advantage that this lot had last year. Oh, do you know what? I don't even care what their team is. Let's just get into it. Celtic fear nobody. We fear absolutely nobody. Paradise hosts yet another huge Champions League game. And it's a perfect night to get some revenge. Let's be having you. It's our strongest team apart from Anasio, who, as I said earlier, is out with an injury. Oh, Christensen does well to win that back. That's a foul, surely, ref. Oh, come on. He didn't win the ball. I think that was a foul. Now, with that said, I do feel like we need to stop giving away the ball as much as we are. We did it a lot in the Leipzig game. Especially in the second leg. Oh, piss off. Oh, fuck off. I'm sick to death of this scripted bollocks. I really am. Like, there was nothing I could do to fucking stop Vitinha scoring there. Oh, p oh, just piss off. I've just hit myself in the fucking face there as well. That really hurt. Ow. Oh, we're 1-0 down. My face hurts, my pride hurts. And the scoreline is looking a bit sore as well. 1-0 to Atletico, straight away. <sighs> Can we respond quickly though? Gordon, square that. Please be onside. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Victor Jokerez. But we didn't have him last season. We had Evan Ferguson then, who did a great job. Listen, we'll forget about the missed penalty. But he has been the difference so many times this season. Went a bit quiet in that second leg against Leipzig. We did have to take him off for tactical reasons. But he's drawn us level here. Straight after conceding. Celtic won. Atletico won. Back to square one. You know what? Something I need to do, actually. I'm going to do this in here as well. I know this mightn't be the best uh, visual content at the moment. I feel like, defensively, I'm going to go a bit... <clears throat> Let's go. I'm going to try it a, a bit deeper. I feel like any time I do that when we're defending a lead, the defense seems to do a bit better. Sometimes I just forget to go into the tactics, to be honest. And if I'm going to be completely honest about it as well, 
I can find it a bit boring at times. I'm done with this game. I am done with this fucking game. It's going to be another basketball game, isn't it? Back up a small bit there, buddy. Very close to the camera. Julian Alvarez. He missed the final last season. <sighs> but he's made up for it here for them by putting them back in front. 13 minutes in. Already three goals. And my patience has already been tested. Unbelievable. Here's Jokerez again, though. Jokerez. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know what? I still refuse to go on simulation because I find that the gameplay is just too boring and it's too slow. But I feel like I will need to change something soon because we can't have every game being this end-to-end -end when it comes to the amount of goals being scored. It's 2-2 already. We've not even played 20 minutes of this first leg. Four goals have already hit the back of the net. <sighs> Never a dull moment, am I right? Unbelievable. I half thought about changing the formation for this game. But I didn't want to overthink it. Although now I'm start. Oh, I swear to God. Okay, Edison makes the save there. I was going to say I'm starting to think we maybe should have gone a bit more defensive. And I did think about it. But my gut told me to stick with what we've been doing. Get rid of it. Fuck off. Oh my God. Well, Leipzig conceded a very bad goal in the first leg yesterday. We nearly conceded a pretty bad one there. Thankfully, we've kept it out. Brooks does really well there. Maybe we just need to slow it down a bit here. Listen, there's plenty of football to be played. That's a foul, and that should be a yellow card as well. Varela gets taken out. Is the referee going to produce a yellow? Yes, he is. Well done, ref. Good decision. And speaking of refing, I'm also refing a show for RCW this Friday. There will be a vlog on the channel at some stage next week. So if you are a fan of professional wrestling, make sure to check that out. Very much looking forward to it. Here's Gordon. Is he on side? Oh, he is. I thought the flag was going to go up. Oh, what a finish by Anthony Gordon. The man from Merseyside who moved up to Tyneside, who's found his home here in Paradise. Scores an absolute beauty to give us the lead for the first time in this tie. It's 3-2. What a season he has had. He's come up clutch so many times. It's a beautiful strike. Hits the right side of the post. And found its way past the goalkeeper. Celtic 3, Atletico 2. And despite falling behind twice, we are the ones in front here after half an hour. Joe Turl punches the air. Could we be punching our ticket to the Champions League semi-finals? Well, Atletico are going to try and respond as quickly as possible. Christensen gets stuck in there. Well done. Yeah, we definitely need to go with a bit of a deeper defence. It might invite a bit more pressure, but I just feel like we deal with things a bit better, even though Brooks has just left a big gap there, and it's three fucking all. Oh, fucking piss off! I'm fucking sick of this! I'm really getting sick of this. Fuck off, Simeone. I hate you, you prick. Oh, my God. Again, I'm trying to switch player. It stays on Phil Brooks. There's a big gap through the middle. Neves takes advantage, puts it past Ederson. And it's three all. I'm not even in the mood to say never a dull moment after that. That's just pure frustration. Six goals inside 35 minutes. Jesus Christ, I can't keep making the title of every video craziest game ever. We had it against Leipzig. We're having another similar game here against Atletico. Unbloody believable. Huming Sun looks like he's going to be hanging up his boots. He is on the bench for Atletico as Costa gives it away. Johnston does really well to intercept that. Five minutes now before half time. Varela, what the fuck is that? Oh, Ederson has to make another save. Alvarez looking lively at the moment. Vitinha is going to whip that ball in. 
go for another corner, I think, is it? Oh no, it's a goal kick, never mind. We'll gladly take that. That's a good ball into Jokerez. Here's Kokchu. What can he do? He puts us back in front. What a first half. Celtic 4, Atletico Madrid 3. Now I will say it, never a dull moment. End-to-end -end stuff yet again. We just don't know how to do boring ties, it seems. Although I would absolutely kill for a boring tie at some stage. Honestly, I'd happily take just a boring 2-0. Straightforward, comfortable scoreline. But we just don't know how to do that. We regained the lead right before the end of the half. And I tell you what, lads, I will be changing the formation in the second half. I have to. I cannot have this turn into the NBA. Please blow the whistle, ref. Please blow the whistle. Oh, come on, ref. Blow that fucking whistle. I'm sick of this when they add on two minutes and then they believe play about five minutes after that as well. Or play on for about five minutes afterwards, I should say. Come on, ref. That's that. Half time. 4-3. We're not even halfway through the tie. We're halfway through the first leg. And there's already been seven goals. But we are the team who take the lead. Jokerez adds two more goals to his collection. He's coming for that record. But we do have the lead and we need to sharpen up defensively. So this is what we're going to go with in the second half. I've gone with the 5-3-2. We are taking off the two wingers, Francisco and Anthony Gordon. Gordon was having a good game, don't get me wrong. But we're going to put McTominay as the sweeper there at the back. Brooks can stay on the left-hand side. Costa on the right. Fullbacks stay the same. Timber, Cockchew and Varela all in the midfield. Adam Ida comes on to partner Victor Jokerez up front. Half thought about keeping Gordon up there. Actually, let's actually just check. He only gets a minus three. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. We're not going to bring on Adam Eater just yet. We know we can bring him on if we need to. But I'm going to try Gordon up front for a bit. Let's just see how he gets on. Obviously, he's got 91 pace. Yoker has with 92 pace, so it's a very quick attack. Fuck it. Let's just see how it goes. 4-3 up here, going into the second half. And honestly, I'd happily keep it like this. <laughs> I really would. Let's just try not and concede at least. And then definitely when we go to uh, Atletico, when we go to Madrid, I should say, we will have to go with a more defensive line if we can go in with the lead. I went a bit quiet there because I had to concentrate. <laughs> but here's McTominay. One of the more versatile players in this team. Now Timber. Anthony Gordon. Playing up front now. Oh. Just took too heavy a touch and Kalulu dispossesses him. I've gone with the deep line yet again as well. The fact that we've got more players back should help out a small bit, but they're still able to get a shot from that distance. Ederson puts it out for a corner. They're going to make their first changes of the game. McAllister and Garcia come on for Lorente and Connor Gallagher. Coop Miners whips in the ball, headed away. Come on, lads. I'll gladly keep this scoreline the way it is. Oh, but that's a good ball for Pavard. Oh, and thankfully, it was a defender's finish in the end. Simeone puts his head in his hands. And we breathe a huge sigh of relief. Is Christensen now? Over to Varela. Good turn. Back to Timber. Oh, fucking hell. Losing the ball again. <sighs> Guam Brooks gets stuck in. Oh, it's a good tackle as well. And Varela wins it back. And then what does he do straight away? Gives it right back to the opposition. Oh, but McTominay. Showing his sweeping capabilities there. Oh my god, Ederson. That was one of the riskiest passes that we've ever attempted. But we just about get away with it. <sighs> I just want to get to the bloody final. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? I didn't think we'd have anywhere near as dramatic a run as last season. But after that Leipzig game... 
I was, uh, I was proven wrong, because look at this, this is just insane. 20 minutes to go. That's a good ball by McTominay to Varela. It's Timber. I'm just, I don't care if this is boring to watch, we just need to keep a hold of this ball. And then as soon as I say that, the commentator's curse, we give away the ball. And here's Alvarez, that's not who you want to see running clean through. McTominay takes him out. There's an advantage to be played. Oh, that's going to be a goal. What a save by Ederson. Oh, brilliant save by the Brazilian keeper. His experience coming in clutch there. Brooks gets rid of it. Jokerez does really well to keep the possession for Celtic there. The clock continues to run down. 12 minutes to go. Oh, what the fuck was that? What was that? Terrible pass. Brooks wasn't exactly busting a gut to get to it either. If we concede here. Oh, fuck off. Oh my god, Ederson, you legend. You absolute legend. McTominay will get a yellow card for that earlier foul. But I don't care. <sighs> you can see the Champions League winner badge there on uh, Alvarez's jersey. Raquel May is coming on for Coop Miners. I might make a change as well, actually. Uh, let's take off Timber for Ward. God, these menus are so laggy. We'll swap them around. And let's bring on Adamita. Gordon can come off now. We know how clutch Ida is off the bench. We've said it time and time again. We've seen it time and time again. The two Irishmen come on, uh, come on I should say. As Timber... Oh, and uh, Gordon, make way. Come on. Don't let them get the shot off. Oh, my God, Ederson, you legend. You absolute legend. Ederson, take a bow, son. Oh, my goodness me. That's three fantastic saves he's made there. How are we still winning this game? Well, I'll tell you how, because we have Ederson between the sticks. We took a risk selling Pulisic. We reinvested that money back in the squad. Ederson, a Champions League winner with Man City. Br uh, bringing that w uh, Champions League winning experience into the team. And he has kept us in the quarterfinal here. Phil Brooks, I swear to God, man. You'll be going back to AEW if you don't fucking cop on. And we both know what a shit show that place is. Here's Alvarez. Oh, that could be a red. That could be a red card. That's going to be a red card. Oh, my God. I'm running out of centre-backs. <laughs> I am actually running out of centre-backs. Costa has been sent off. Well, that means we won't have Anasio. We won't have maybe McTominay, actually. I think he might have been one yellow card away from getting suspended. And now we won't have Costa. Fuck off, Simeone! I fucking hate that prick so much! Fucking deck him, Joe! Fucking asshole! Anyways, right, we have to make a defensive change here. Uh, let's take off Jokerez. And we'll bring on... Uh, let's bring on... Not Robertson. We'll bring on Scales. Swap them around. Uh, fuck it, let's bring on Robertson as well as a left-back. <sighs> this free kick is in a very good position for them, though. My heart is bloody racing. <laughs> it really is. Or maybe I shouldn't have taken Jokerez off, actually. Oh, fuck it. Look, we've done it now. We've done it now. We can't change. Which side do I think he's going to go? Ah! Oh, fucking... Oh, no. Oh, my God. McAllister, what a goal. He took that a lot more quickly than I was expecting. And Atletico have scored a last minute equaliser we very nearly kept them out what a strike I have to give credit where it's due free kicks from that fucking position are so overpowered the wall didn't even jump and it's going to be 4-4 here in the first leg send him off <laughs> It's only going to be a yellow. To be fair, that's all it was. As well. Here's Ward. Oh, I'm deflated after that. I'm so deflated. Cockchew! Oh, I thought for a second. I thought for a second it was going to go in. 
we get a corner kick here it's going to be the final chance of the game can we do something from it McTominay won the header oh but it's cleared away and it's a four all draw another classic game here at Celtic Park in the Champions League heartbreak in the last minute Alexis McAllister the Argentinian with a Scottish name is the one who draws the two teams together and levels it up as we go into the second leg in Madrid. Lovely camera work here again by EA. Never a dull moment from them either. Oh, God, we do need to change something here in the second leg because at the moment this system is just not working. Right, lads, this is what we're going to be going with for the second leg of the Champions League semi-final. I've already broken the emergency glass and we haven't even kicked it off. We're going with a 4-4-2. Now, I thought I was recording for the previous five minutes and it was only at the very end of me talking that I realized I never hit record. And what's really fucking annoying me other than that is when I finished that lack of recording, it said Varela only got a minus three, not a minus three, a plus three, I should say, here at the center back position. And then I go into the game and he gets a minus one. Make it make sense. But this is the team we're going with. Scott McTominay and Costa are both suspended. So I couldn't play either of them at centre-back. I love Scales, but I feel like that this wasn't the game to start him from. Or to start him in, I should say. So I've put Varela back at centre-back. Timber and Cockchew will stay in the middle. Gordon and Francisco out wide. They're only getting an exclamation mark because they're playing as right mids and left mids. Instead of right wings and left wings. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Jokeres and Ida both up front. Fullbacks are the same. Ederson still between the sticks. I forgot to say, actually, we did sign a new player, Nardoni. I felt like we were missing Hatate quite a lot. It wouldn't allow me to bring him back from Luton. So we brought in another midfielder. Felt like we needed one more player in that position. Um, so yeah, forgot to mention that. My bad. <laughs> but uh, the rest of the bench there, uh, is here, as you can see. I can't bloody speak at the moment. Bert, Marquis, Scales, Robertson, Valet, Ward... Palma and Meda as well. So, here we are at the Wanderer Metropolitano, or Estadio Metropolitano, whatever the hell they call it now. This is where our hearts were broken in the Champions League final last season. What will happen here in the quarterfinal? <sighs> Let's find out. Can't be arse seeing what their starting eleven is. I just want to get into it. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be glad to never play Atletico Madrid again if we never, ever played these pricks again. It would still be too soon. Oh my God. What a save by Ederson. Here's Gallagher. Two brilliant saves by Ederson. It's going to go out for a throw in. But I tell you what. We got away with that one. <sighs> Not the start we were looking for. And it's going to get even worse here. <sighs> Lorente. Fuck's <Buck's> sake. <sighs> really hurt my hand there as well. That's what I get. Oh, we go 1-0 down straight away. You can really tell, lads, that we're coming towards the end of this series. I said it as well in the first leg. You can just tell we need to move on to a new team. I love this Celtic team. I really do. I'm glad we've done another season. I don't know why it's showing Jokerez's stats. I wish he was the one who'd scored there. But honestly, the stress of winning this Champions League. I, I, think, I think my hair is thinning. I'm going to look like Pep Guardiola. Once this career mode is finished. Oh, cocked you. Like, see what I mean? About losing the fucking ball so much. The fact that that's... Ha oh, I, no, no, no. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. <sighs> Ederson with another save. What I was going to say was, we win the tackle so well, but then they just pick up the ball again. They're getting the bounce of the ball so much. EA just don't want us to win the fucking Champions League. The woodwork saves us now. Brooks heads it away. Timber manages to, to uh, squeeze it away as well. Can we go on an attack here? Cockchu. Ida. Adam Ida. Have a go. Good save. Jokerez not able to follow it in, but he still has it. Blocked. Oh, and it's squeezed in by Francisco. Well, it took him so long to score a goal in the Champions League. And now he can't stop scoring in the competition. We get the equaliser. It's not too long after we concede as well. It's 1-1 here in Madrid. Five all on aggregate. 
it wouldn't be an episode of the Celtic career mode without having a basketball scoreline. Excuse me, I keep burping, my apologies. The initial shot was blocked. The rebound wasn't. Squeezes it past the keeper. It's only his third Champions League goal. He's gotten them all this season. And we are back on level terms. Here's Alvarez though. I just feel like every time they go on the attack. Oh he's going to get sent off. He's going to get fucking sent off now isn't he? Yeah. Our centre backs are just cursed. Even when I put a CDM there. They just cannot last a full 90 minutes. Unbelievable. Inacio gets injured and the whole fucking defence falls apart. I have to make a change already. Oh, who do I take off? I feel like it has to be Adamita, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose it does. Oh, it's so frustrating. How does Christensen do as a centre-back? He gets a minus two. Right, I'm going to try something a bit different. I'm probably pissing scales off an awful lot right now. Actually, let me just see something there. Okay, never, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to bring on Robertson as a left-back. Christensen can go to centre-back. Ida's going to have to come off. A straight red card for Varela. McTominay, Inacio and Costa were all... What the fuck just happened there? What? <laughs> what was that for a free kick? He put it out for a throw. That is the worst free kick I have ever seen taken in this game. I have no words for that. Like, I have no idea what to say about that. I was there giving out about how we don't have any bloody centre-backs. I mean, Liam Scales might have a thing or two to say about that, but still. And then, that goes and happens. <laughs> what? What is going on? What is going on in this game? Here's Alvarez. Oh, Brooks can't get there! Good save. Oh, I just realised I probably should have put Johnston at centre-back. Oh, it's too late now. Whatever. I always forget that he can play there, which is weird, because he's actually done really well any time I've played him there. Good tackle by Timber. Oh, but then he just goes and loses it again. <sighs> but that goes wide. His first half is flying by. Here's Christensen. Now Timber. Useless. He is absolutely fucking useless, Timber. I was so excited to get him back in the team, and he has done nothing but let me down. What a save as well, by the way by Edison. I can't even enjoy these saves anymore. They've actually taken the enjoyment out of this bloody game. <sighs> Kalulu. We're just lucky that the strikes they're getting off are from players who just don't seem to know how to kick a football. But I say that, I mean, I think it was Alvarez who took the free kick. Their bloody top scorer. And he put it out for a throw in. Well, this is a good run by Timber, though. Have a go. Oh, it's not a bad effort. Unlucky. The Dutch midfielder with a decent enough strike. But the keeper was level to it. But we do get the corner. Let's put Kokchu on it. Whips it in. Brooks! Gets it on target, but no power at all. And Costa has it in his grasp. Well, we're approaching the halftime whistle here. It's still level at the moment, but Atletico looking to charge down the byline here. Good interception. Ederson will clear it. But again, we lose possession of the ball moments after winning it back. Are they going to create one last chance? Looks like they are. Garcia, Alvarez, good save by Ederson. Robertson will clear it. And that is the halftime break. 1-1 one, one on the night, 5-5 five, five on aggregate. Not as many goals as the first half of the first leg, but it's still as tense as ever, and we are down to 10 men. But it's still all to play for in this Champions League quarterfinal. Oh, I'm losing the will to live. <laughs> 
I haven't been this stressed in such a long time. Well, to be fair, the Leipzig game stressed me out as well. But I didn't think it would get any more complicated after that. But this game has been a head wreck as well. That's a really good ball. No, it's not. Jokerez is offside. Oh. Atletico Madrid. Fuck you. <laughs> I thought I had a more clever line in my head. Gallagher now. Over to Velasco. Garcia, that's well offside. How has he stayed onside there? How in the name of Jesus Christ was that onside? And they get the corner as well. Fucking hell. I know we're playing a deep enough line, but still. He looked a mile offside. What a save by Ederson Jokerez. Get rid of it. Robertson can't keep it. Gallagher. Goal. Yeah. 2-1 to Atletico. And lads, I feel like this is going to be the end. I really do. Oh, the former Oxford United player. Not in real life, but on this channel. Before one of you say something in the comments. Has come back to haunt us again. I can just feel it slipping away from us. I really can. See what I mean? Like, we cannot even fucking give a simple fucking pass. <sighs> Robertson. Timber, please stay on side, Jokerez. He has done. What a save. Can you believe that he's fucking saved that? Francisco. Yes, come on! What a finish! He gets his second goal of the game. Oh my god, sorry, I was not expecting that to go in. <laughs> oh my god, what a strike. With his weak foot as well, his so-called weak foot. He smashes it past Costa. And we are back on level terms again. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, Francisco, you beauty. 25 minutes left, 2 all on the night, 6 all on aggregate. It's all happening here. I just wish defensively I could just not concede so many chances. <sighs> Good save again by Ederson. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure about Christensen as a centre-back. I'm really not. I know he's left-footed. I'm just going to try it like this. Johnston is going to go centre-back. Christensen at right-back. Brooks is going to stay there as well. I'm going to bring on Ward for Timber as well. He's not been great. Poor Quinton. And Ward, I feel like, the, kind of like Ida, he does better off the bench than he does when he starts. Kalulu. Oh, no, 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 no. Garcia. Oh, good save by Ederson. Oh. My heart, my, or my blood pressure, I should say, is through the roof. My heart is pounding like a motherfucker. Oh, good save again by Ederson. Can we hit them on the break here now at Ward? Does he have the pace? Well, Jokerez should do. Here's Jokerez. Come on, lad. Victor Jokerez. What a save. Francisco on a hat trick. Kokchu. Oh, it's another save by Costa. Oh, it's a big save as well. <laughs> Just unable to get the ball in the back of the net. Francisco whips it in. Johnston wins the header. But Diogo Costa is there to catch it yet again. <sighs> we need to start taking those chances. Because we see what Atletico are like when they go on the attack. I don't know why Brooks insists on pushing up that... Uh, that high oh, does well to track back there though is Christensen over to Johnston eight minutes left that's a good ball Jokerez Jokerez Victor Jokerez 
has put us in front with seven minutes to go. It's 3-2 on the night, 7-6 on aggregate. Is that Celtic back in the Champions League semi-final? Oh my God. The stress has been like nothing I've ever felt before. But if this proves to be the winner, then it will all be worth it just for a place in that final four. Victor Jokeres, the man yet again. His 16th Champions League goal of the season in 11 games. It could be the most important one. Right, lads, I need to go more defensive here yet again. It's what we're going with. Scales will come onto the pitch. I'm actually going to play him there and put Christensen as the sweeper. Robertson uh, at left back. No, we already brought him on. What am I talking about? Uh, Nardani comes on to play in centre midfield. Jokerez up front on his own. Kokchu will play a little bit deeper. Ward in the midfield as well. I'm so bloody stressed that I can't even remember who I just brought on and who's already been on the pitch. Oh my God. Please, please have that be the winner. I beg of you. Francisco comes off for Scales. Gordon comes off for Nardoni. And hopefully that will be enough to send us through to the semi-final. I can't take much more of it, lads. I really can't. I don't know why it's showing Adamita scoring. What is going on here? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, fuck off. What do I even say? What do I even say about that? I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Honestly, lads, I call me Jose Mourinho. I have nothing to say. I have absolutely nothing to say here. That is an absolute fucking disgrace. Come on! Oh, forget everything I just said! Forget everything I just said! Why? Why does it keep doing this to me? <laughs> oh my god, the games just keep getting crazier and crazier. Every time I think we fucked it up, we managed to go and do something like this. Jokerez, I thought he got in the winner just a few minutes ago. He ends up surely getting the winner now. We do get revenge on Atletico Madrid, but it is not anywhere near as easy as we could have had it. 17 goals in 11 games now. He's level with Cristiano Ronaldo. But more importantly, surely Celtic are through to the Champions League semi-final. Yes, we are. Oh my God, lads. This is the most incredible run to a semi-final I've ever had. Honestly, I I feel like I've just aged about 10 years in that game alone. Jokeres didn't get a hat-trick. For some reason, I thought he'd scored three. He scores a brace. But it's enough to get us through to the Champions League semi-final. But I tell you what, with how the last 16 has gone and how this game has gone... I just have this impending feeling of doom. But for now, as I burp halfway through my sentence, we can look forward to a semi-final, and we have gotten revenge on Atletico Madrid. It's seven on aggregate for the second tie in a row. What are the odds of that? Never a dull moment. Let's have a look at the other results. PSG do end up knocking out Real Madrid. Liverpool do end up knocking out uh, Tottenham. And Arsenal did defeat Manchester City. So two English teams remain, a Scottish team remains, and a French team remains. And let me reveal to you that the team we will be playing in the Champions League semi-final is... Paris Saint-Germain. It's an all-English semi-final in the other game, Liverpool and Arsenal, and we will be taking on the French Giants themselves. Oh, my God. All I ask is for just a normal game of football. 
We don't need to have that many goals. Just just give me a boring 1-0, please. I beg of you. In our favour, obviously. That game and that tie, I should say, will be played in tomorrow's episode, lads. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And I will talk to you all tomorrow, where hopefully this semi-final will be a bit more straightforward than the last two ties have been. Take care.